See, he in it now. Once he in it, he gone. Trayvon Gillespie, the star. Arguably the fastest sprinter in the conference. He's the Orton school record holder in the 100 and the 200. Trayvon Gillespie right there in the all yellow of orange. Trayvon Gillespie. Trayvon Gillespie goes in lane one. The winner of the race is Trayvon Gillespie. It's your boy back with another video. I already know I had to had to react to this one. Bittersweet. I feel like it hurt. It hurt watching this. One, because obviously, you know, um, at the end of the day, God's timing is perfect timing. So, you know, stuff happens in life. You know, things, things go on. And it's like, at the end of the day, it is what it is. At the end of the day, you got to bounce back because nobody really care. You feel what I'm saying? Like, nobody going to feel sad or feel bad. You feel me? You got to get back through your thing and then you back in the mix. You feel what I'm saying? So, we'll get into that another time. But this right here, to to, to drop two nine sevens in the semi and the final within, what, an hour apart? I feel like people got to get this cat a little more respect. A little more respect. First cat ever to go sub 44 sub 20 and sub 98 that's not normal and I, I and i need people to understand how crazy that is that is wild and a lot of people talk about the start i feel like his start ain't that bad obviously it's not up there with you know the top sprinters which obviously is a top sprinter but i'm like people who sprinted their whole life you get what i'm saying like you know everybody else in this field who's like true sprinters from the beginning and i feel like running nine seven you you there let's watch the video national championship on the line and a ticket to the world see he in it now once he in it he gone championship and head to the world championships right here at Hayward Field. When is the last time you've seen a sprinter run 9-7 in That's crazy. That's crazy. You already know I always gotta ask this. Because it's, it's fun to play hypotheticals. Hypothetically speaking, if he had a start, I feel like there's only really, it's only going to be so many Goldmans like have starts like this. It's only going to be so many Bro Mills that have starts like that. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, if he has a start like that, <laughs> what do y'all think? What do y'all think will happen? Me personally, the way he's cooking right now, I think he'll break the American record. Honestly. That, and that that's me honestly speaking i'm not biased you know what i'm saying that that's just what i think obviously you know going to worlds and having jacobs and you know having coleman in the race but i just feel like it's really just the u.s i feel like it's just u.s it's, it's fred and you know his two best friends and i feel like and then you got coleman i feel like them four with jacobs that's five i don't see nobody else breaking that up Johan Blake did run good. That boy, he ran nice at his Jamaican trials. I think he ran 9-8, if I'm not mistaken. But I just feel like them three right here that just ran in this race, them three right here, plus Coleman and Jacobs, like, I don't see nobody breaking it up. Now, I don't know. I'm not going to say a place. But the way this cat looking, ooh-wee, that's five. I don't see nobody else breaking that up. Johan Blake did run good. That boy, he ran nice at his Jamaican trials. I think he ran 9-8, if I'm not mistaken. But I just feel like them three right here that just ran in this race, them three right here, plus Coleman and Jacobs, like I don't see nobody breaking it up. Now, I don't know. I'm not going to say a place, but... The way this cat looking. Ooh wee. Now, we didn't see Coleman in the final. So it all could have went, you know, it all could have went a different way. You never know. You get what I'm saying? You always can talk about, yeah, you know, very hot right now. He cooking. But you don't know how it would have went 
if Cole was in it. But as of right now, this cat he on he on a different level. Now he's made himself the favorite not just to win here, but for the world title. That's how good he's looking. Nike men's 100 meter final national championship on the line and a ticket to the world. Curly mm -hmm. not the quickest out that time. He's shoulder to shoulder. Yeah, they about shoulder to shoulder. And then the last, last 50 is crazy. Championship and head to the world championships right here. That's great. When is the last time you've seen a sprinter run? That's great. And I also know what bittersweet like I feel like for Bracey to do that, I know that feels good on his part just because last year at Olympic trials he pulled up in the semis. I, yeah, he pulled up in the semis, like hurt his hamstring and everything, so he wasn't able to compete in the final. So I know, I know that's crazy, especially to, for that to happen at Olympic trials and then bounce back, you get what I'm saying, and come out here, obviously did his thing indoor and then come out outdoor, you feel me, and then get the silver and make the world team. And I believe this is his first world team um, individual. I don't know if he's made one relay, but I know this is his first individual world team, so I know he's pumped about that. But it's just been a lot of, especially in these championships, like at USA that's going on right now on this weekend. Like it's been a lot of a lot of new, like new faces making the teams individual wise. You get what I'm saying? And that and that's fire, even from like the long jump, different like just different different ones. And uh I know it's lovely. And I like seeing it too. Just so, you know, USA, you know, gets more faces out there. I feel like we see the same people. Um, you know, USA TF and everybody like they market the same people. They show the same people. So I feel like now having these new faces and getting people's stories out and you know, just getting that different look, you know, bringing new faces to track and field and stop showing the same people. So I feel like this is like a really good way for that. And so for worlds to be at you know eugene and everything that's fire but i want to know y'all take on this obviously y'all gonna blow the comments up so I'm, I'm excited to see that but i know whoever coming fourth and fifth at worlds like it's still gonna be a fast time. i bet you fourth and fifth still gonna run nine eight like you get what i'm saying so but other than that man you already know back with another banger is what i do so Continue to tune in, continue to subscribe, continue to like, continue to stay tuned for all the videos. I appreciate y'all rocking with your boy, and I'm out.